More trouble tonight for the Washington Commanders and owner Dan Snyder. A congressional committee claiming the team withheld millions of dollars in refundable security deposits from its own season ticket holders. Fox 5's Tom Fitzgerald live tonight at FedEx Field. Uh, Fitz, there's now a call for federal investigators to step in and take action. That's correct. The letter going from the chairwoman, Carolyn Maloney, directly to the head of the Federal Trade Commission tonight, asking the FTC to determine whether or not, quote, additional investigation is warranted with appropriate measures for thousands of what they call potential victims. Documents released today by the House Oversight Committee allege that the commanders withheld back nearly $5 million in refundable security deposits from thousands of season ticket holders here at FedEx Field. Now, two weeks ago, AJ Perez of Front Row Sports reported that the team was also being probed for allegedly withholding ticket money from visiting teams here. Perez tells Fox 5 today that these latest allegations will cause more legal scrutiny for owner Daniel Snyder. However, removing him as owner will prove difficult. My initial reporting, which had a lot of this um, at that time, the people I've talked to around the league and former league executives didn't think this would be quite enough to force them out. It takes 24 owners to remove uh, an another owner. Um, that has never happened in the modern NFL. Now, according to the House Oversight Committee, former ticket official for the team, Jason Friedman, provided testimony and documentation to support the allegations and told the committee, quote, I was not going to lie to protect Daniel Snyder anymore. Washington Commanders fans, well, they told Fox 5 today they want federal investigators to get to the bottom of this. I mean, he's been having issues for a while, and maybe this may be the culmination of everything. There should be some further looking into it. You know, I think that's the common sense thing that we'll do. I hope that they figure this all out and that um, justice will be served. That's sad to hear. Now, in a statement to Fox 5, the Washington commanders wrote, in part, the team categorically denies any suggestion of financial impropriety of any kind at any time, adding, we will continue to cooperate fully with the committee's work. We should also add a copy of this letter was sent to the attorney generals of both D.C., Maryland, and Virginia. And, Jim, as we know, all three of those jurisdictions are competing against each other to become the new home of the new commander's stadium.